Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I want to show you a new CSS class that is being introduced in Tailwind version three. And these are the scroll snap utilities. So a couple weeks ago, the alpha version of Tailwind CSS version three got released with some new classes that we can use, some new utility classes, some new features, and some really cool stuff that I'm super pumped about. So in this video, I want to show you how we can use these scroll snap utilities to create a page like this. So you can see as we scroll down the page, it kind of snaps to each section and uh, super easy to do. And I'm just going to show you how we can use these snap utilities and uh, create pages like this. So let's jump into it. I have an empty code pin right here. And the first thing that I want to do is instead of including the Tailwind CSS uh, version 3 CDN link, I'm actually going to show you something new that's in version 3, which is the just-in-time JavaScript. So we have a just-in-time mode JavaScript that we can include in our pages, and it's I think it's recommended not to use in production, uh, but you can use it for testing and kind of playing around. So let me actually look for that. As we scroll down, we'll see we have this just-in-time CDN. So we can actually include this script in the page, and then we can start using all of the just-in-time Tailwind CSS classes, colors, everything that you would normally be able to use um, with Tailwind. You can also include some of the plugins just by including the question mark plugins equals forms, typography, etc. So let's copy this link and let's put this inside of our settings. We want to include this JavaScript file. We'll include that right there. And I think just to confirm everything's working, let's go ahead and create a class. We'll say BG Gray 100 H screen and W screen. And let's just make sure that that's working. Sure enough, you can see that we have this background gray 100. That might not be really visible, so let's change that to background gray 900. And bam, you can see that we are able to now use the Tailwind CSS CDN classes. Damn you, notifications. I should have known every time that I record a video, I got to set do not disturb on. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and create that scroll snap utility. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a container. So I want this to be, well, I'll say H screen and I think W screen is fine. And then I want to add the snap utility, which is snap dash Y. So I want this to snap on the Y axis. And I'm going to say that I want this to mandatory snap. So whenever you scroll, I want it to, I want it to snap. Like I want it mandatory. You should snap is essentially what we're saying here. So snap dash mandatory. And then inside here, we need to add the different elements that we're going to snap to. So I'm going to add a class and I think I'm going to close out this CSS and this JavaScript just so we can see more of the HTML. So inside here, I'm going to use another utility called snap dash start, and I need to give this a background. So I'll say background. And of course we can use all the different colors that's provided in Tailwind. So I can use the amber color since I am using the just in time CDN. So I can say background amber of 200. And then let's go ahead and make this W screen, H screen. And we want this to be flex item center, justify center, Come on, buddy, justify center. And we want text. I'll make this really large XL. And I want to add the number one inside of this element. So let's see that appear. There we go. Let's duplicate this. And I think I'll do that four times. Format this correctly. And then I want to change the background color. And I also want to change these numbers to be two, three, and four. So let's say that we want the second one to be background teal of 200. We want the third one to be, we'll say, cyan, cayenne. I don't know why. I don't know how to appropriately pronounce that. Should be, I yeah. You can tell me in the comments if you want. <laughs> cayenne, cyan. I have no idea. One of the two. I know that this one, fuchsia, which is kind of weird to spell, F U. CHSIA 200. So now check this out. As we scroll down, 
it's actually not working. What we need to actually add is we need to add overflow of scroll. So we need to say we want to clip the overflow, except whenever we scroll, we want to allow the overflow to be visible. So now as we scroll down, you can see that we have that nice snapping effect, which is super cool. So let's take off this snap mandatory. Let's kind of play around a little bit. So now as we scroll down, you can see that it, it will actually snap like if we scroll hard enough. Um, but if we do the snap mandatory, it's automatic. It's not going to stop in between. So if we add the snap mandatory, we're not going to be able to like stop in between there. Let's add that back and I'll show you. Snap mandatory. So now we scroll, oops, scroll, and I'm not going to be able to get in the middle of that. It's going to say that it's mandatory that you must snap to the next element. So that is super cool. We're able to create this functionality in uh, a short amount of code using these new snap utilities. So now that we can snap on the Y axis, let's see about snapping on the X axis. So I'm going to say that I want to change the width and I'm going to set this to a fixed width of 96. I'm going to set MX auto. So that way this centers. And I think for each one of these, I'm going to change that to width of 96 as well. So we'll say W96, W96 and 96. Okay. And now as we scroll, you can see that it's still showing up on top of each other. So we actually need to add the class of flex right here. And then we need to tell each child element that we want to set shrink to zero. So you shouldn't be able to shrink. So we want width of 96 and you shouldn't be able to shrink inside of this flex container. So we'll say flex shrink dash zero. And let's apply that to the rest of them. And now check this out. Okay, so now as we scroll to the left and the right, it automatically snaps. Super cool, super cool. So um, be sure to check out some of the other utilities that are available in Tailwind CSS version three. Uh, t scroll snap is super cool and I'm super pumped about using that utility in my future projects. Uh, one thing before closing out the video, I want to ask you if you want to check out my project at devdojo.com slash tails. Uh, this is a Tailwind CSS page builder where you can drag and drop these nice Tailwind CSS elements on top of each other and you can create your own landing page using these Tailwind CSS blocks. So be sure to visit devdojo.com slash tails and uh, you can support me and create some really nice looking landing pages. So that's all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.